Yeah, I mean, it looks like we'll get Punk and Joe um, in a second round match, which is, of course, something that they've been teasing. And then on the other side, um, figure it's Powerhouse Hobbs and somehow Starks will get through it since Punk's a baby face and uh, Hobbs is a heel. Looks like, uh, I mean, that's the betting line for the final yep. is uh, Punk and, and uh, Powerhouse. And we have for the women, the one half is Britt Baker and Ruby Soho and Anna J and Sky Blue. And the other side is Nyla and Willow and Athena and Billy Starks. Well, Athena's going to beat Billy Starks. Um, Willow should, is Willow and Nyla? So Willow should win that, right? I would think so, yeah. So we've got Willow and Athena in the semi. Those two had a great match in R on, on the ROH show. So... Um, that's probably why they went in that direction because, uh, you know, they want to duplicate that. And then, uh, um, so it's Britain, Ruby and, um, Sky Blue and Anna Jay, um, which we will talk about because Sky Blue and Anna Jay has already happened. And I wonder if they, you know, I mean, Brit could win. They could take her out. Um, oh, geez. I mean, Brit's, Brit's... Brit won last year. I wouldn't take her out in the first round. I think yeah, she's got to well, go farther than that. So, the, well, if she doesn't, then she's would go, she would go in the second round against somebody, and then uh, which we'll talk about later. And then uh, the finals, she could be in the finals. Um, on the other side, it would be a Willow and Athena winner, uh, which could be either one of them, perhaps Willow. Um, so. I don't think they're going to do Brit and, uh, Brit and uh, Willow, although they could. We had Orange Cassidy and Shibata versus Zack Sabre Jr. and Daniel Garcia, which was a good match, got a lot of time. And uh, Orange, at the end, Edwards hit their big moves. Orange accidentally hits Shibata with the orange punch. Garcia cradles him and pins Shibata. And then it was weird, like afterwards, uh, Daniel Garcia and Zack Sabre grab a hold of Orange's belt. And then Shibata just stands up. And then he starts looking at the belt. He's not mad that his partner hit him. He's not angry that he got beaten. He just kind of stands up and looks at the belt, and then he grabs it. And then there's a three-way tug-of-war. And then Orange Cassidy gets in there, and they announce the four-way for the pay-per-view. Shabbat is Sabre, Garcia, and Orange. And then Orange grabs the belt and leaves. So uh, that's the uh, match for the yeah. international title. The match was good. It wasn't... Um... I don't know. It was. It was. It was. Uh, it wasn't as good as I would have. Exp you know, because as, as good as like most Zack Saber matches, um, but it was good. It was. It was good. And uh, you know, four way should be, should be real good. Alex Marvez met with Osprey, and Dan Don Callis shows up, and he says, "You know, all these people in Canada hate you because Kenny has been inciting his fan base to violence. You need special security." in Toronto, where people are entitled like Americans. I have a special security detail for you in Toronto as a personal favor. That's where he says, well, what do you want out of this? Kella says, I just want a fair fight. Just get the one, two, three. This guy's trying to build a family. That's mm -hmm. the storyline here. Yeah. We had a video package announcing Tony Storm versus Willow for the AW Women's title at the show. And then we had Chris Statlander and Taya for the TBS title, which was fine. Uh, uh, there was a lot of missed stuff in this match. I mean, a lot for for an AEW match. Well, at the end, uh, they did a big superplex off the top, and then uh, Statlander hit the Wednesday Night Fever Cradle Tombstone, got the pin to retain her title. Mm. Then we had a segment where a lot happened, and they didn't have a lot of time. So... Eddie Kingston comes out. He says the Young Bucks and Kenny had to leave, or they decided to leave because he didn't respect them. He said a lot of things were happening he didn't like or agree with. He had a friend he was upset with because of who he was teaming with. He did not like Claudio at all. He needed Mox to understand this. So then Mox comes through the crowd. He gets in the ring. He's face-to-face -face with Kingston. And he says, you know how this goes. If, you stand, if, if they stand behind you, protect them. If they stand beside you, respect them. If they stand against you, you've got to destroy them. And he says, you're drawing a line at Forbidden Door. And Kingston says, no, you drew the line the minute you started teaming with that scumbag. You made this decision, not me. And Moxley mutters something, and, and Eddie's furious. He's screaming at him. 
And then finally he says, all right, well, if you're not going to say anything, my th- my fifth man is Tomohiro Ishii. So Ishii starts coming out. The BCC attacks Kingston, not Moxley. And then Ishii hits the ring to make the save. Kingston and Claudio go after each other. Yuta beats down Ishii in the ring. The fans are chanting for Okada. Brian says, he's not coming out. And if he doesn't, I'm going to stomp Ishii's face in. So Okada's music hits. He runs down to the ring, face-to-face with Danielson. Yuta jumps Okada from behind. Brian tries a knee, but he hits Yuta on accident. Okada then goes for the Rainmaker on Brian. Brian bails outside. The crowds chant for Okada. So he grabs Yuta. He kills him with the Rainmaker. And the place goes crazy for Okada as the show goes off the air. I thought it was a, it was, a, it was good. The they could, have, they was, could add a the lot la- more la- time. The last segment, but it was, was good. The last segment was was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something. I mean, at least they did something with with the Danielson match. And they also said on multiple occasions that that's the main event on the show, Danielson and Okada. Well, here is the lineup for the show now, uh, with the exception of one match, which we'll talk about with the Rampage spoilers. Athena and Billy Starks in the tournament uh, first round is the pre-show match. We have Omega and Osprey for the IWGP US title. We have Danielson and Okada. We have Sonata versus Jungle Boy for the IWGP World Heavyweight title. We have MJF and Tanahashi for the AEW title. We have Jericho and Sammy and Minoru Suzuki versus Sting Darby and whoever will be revealed on Saturday. Moxley, Wheeler, Claudio, Takeshita, and Shota Umino against Adam Page, the, the Young Bucks, Eddie Kingston, and Ishii, 10-man tag. CM Punk versus Kojima, first-round match in the Men's Owen Hart Cup Tournament. Orange, Zach, Shibata, and Garcia for the international title in a four-way. And Tony Storm versus Willow Nightingale, only for Tony Storm's AW title. That looks like a hell of a show. Yeah, looks like a lot of good matches. Um, yeah. What do you think? What do you, how do you think it's going to do? I think it's going to do pretty well. I mean, it's one of those shows that sold out instantly. And, yeah. you know, if that's your if your live show sells out instantly, and then, you know, that was before anything was announced, and now we've got Danielson Okada, Omega Osprey. I mean, those two matches right there, I mean, I think the show's going to do quite well, I would say. 135-ish, I would say. I don't you know. Did 140 last year. Well, you, you, you would think it should be last year. Well, maybe 145. 140, 145. Yeah. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. (laughs) Thank you to everybody out there. Uh Uh-oh. Hey! Uh What are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, I'm taking over the show. Oh, no. Dom, hit that music, brother. Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Hey, no. Hey. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.